I grew up as most gay people did, always conscious of my every action. I would constantly analyse myself. How did I look at that person? Was that gay? Did I look in a gay way? That movement, that small body gesture, how did it appear? Everything had to be controlled. If not, I would offer myself up for attack or humiliation. I had to monitor my voice and how I spoke. It was like being under house arrest inside my own body. I was put under strict orders. It was cruel to be victimised, but it was torture to have to police your every waking moment, to make you acceptable to them, palatable to the school, to the children, <laughs> and to the so-called adults that you hated. You hated them because you had to suppress your own sexuality so they could express all that was cruel and violent of their own. Their sexuality could only exist through attacking people like me. They saw themselves not as heterosexual. They saw themselves as not gay. Their identity was based on removing me, of not being me, of silencing me. There was 1,600 pupils in my school. You felt like a grain of sand, or maybe a piece of glitter. And the sad thing was, the only way to survive was to pick on someone that was lower than you, or you perceived as lower than you. You tried to hand down what had been done to you. So you put the pain onto someone else to make yourself feel better. I suppose that's how oppression works. You're oppressed by someone, so you feel powerless. You hate your situation, and in turn you hate your sexuality that has resulted in the situation. You envy them because they have the power. So you model yourself on your oppressor. Try to be like them. And to those straight men, I say, I never wanted to be you. I never wanted to be you. I am not an incomplete version of you. I am a full version of me. It is your arrogance and your mania that attacks me because you think I want to be you. How powerless you all were, you pathetic cunts. I've been finished school for 10 years and it's only recently that I've stopped having nightmares that I have to return to those corridors, to those classrooms. Well, I never did return the key to my locker. I do think furtively of going back. I see the school every time I return back for a visit. It's just before the roundabout at the end of the town. I loved walk to walk through the corridors, right before lunch break, when it was the worst. Maybe I'd wear a little dress. I wonder what would happen. I wonder what the reaction would be. Maybe nothing at all. Who knows? Oh God, just the thought of it. It would be hilarious.